What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today I'm fishing with Brian again and uh, I have been affected by the allergies. They are getting to me and I have a stuffy nose now. So we're going to be fighting fish with a stuffy nose and uh, I sound a lot stuffier than I actually feel so that's a good thing. But uh, Brian's pretty much ready. I got to get ready. I don't want him leaving without me so I got to speed this up but the last couple weeks we've been upgrading our belt a little bit. We have van stall pliers right there with the, the cutters and they're pretty heavy duty stuff. And then we have the new Turtle Cove knife, the um, rescue knife we're going to put onto our belt and then hopefully soon we'll get a new surf right bag because myself and Brian seem to have destroyed it trying to get the hooks out because I'm a fool and I put hooks inside of the bag but to save me from doing that again we have the new z-belt um, single tube that we'll be able to put a lot of our stuff in because we use a lot of thinner profiles instead of the big ones which I still have to get a bunch of I just I haven't fished a lot of metal lips but we fished the SPs and everything, so this single tube's gonna be able to fit, fit a lot of these things that the front pocket of my bag has been fitting and is now ripped from, so. All right, let's get ready and hit the water, hopefully get some fish early morning, uh, incoming tide, hopefully, if it switches, and uh, we'll have some fish. Let's go. in the crib with him. Got it right to sleep. Deep part. Alright, so we made it to this spot. We're going to be here for a little bit. There's a little point down on this area that has a rip right in front, so I'm going to try with a seven foot siege with a half ounce bucktail, see if anything's just sitting in the rip or just past the rip or on the, on the sides of, of the rips. And uh, we're gonna try that. Then we're gonna switch over to a moving plug like a SP or a mag garter or a swatter, see what happens. And uh, hopefully we get something on that. If not, I might switch up to a swim bait, but we'll see what happens. Let's go. Take the switch from the bucktail to a plug. Nice blue fish on the bunker SP minnow. I was trying everything. I was trying yellow, whites, bucktails, and then I figured, hey, I'm sure there's a bunch of bunker out here. So I put on the bunker and within a couple casts, got a blue fish. Mwah. Fish and release. You 
know, it's good to be out on the water. It's good to be back to a familiar spot. Hearing, hearing the birds chirping, it's like spring is here, finally fishing is back. You guys have seen the channel, you guys have seen the videos. A lot of it's been at night, so it's all just casting into nothing, reeling up some fish, maybe taking a skunk, but not really being able to witness, you know, being out fishing. Like we have birds chirping all over, crabs walking around the water. Like I wanna to try to get some video of the crabs. But every time, every time I see them, I guess they know and I, they swim away before I can dunk my GoPro in. But it's good to be back out during the day. Caught a blue already. Obviously, we're gonna have to wait for some more schools to come through. A dead low was supposed to be two hours ago, two and a half hours ago, and it's still going out. So I don't know what's happening. My tide charts are normally correct. I'd like to see some more blue action. Normally it's school after school after school and we're fighting fish after fish after fish. But it seems like lately it's, you either get into three or one. It's never just like a consistent big school of bluefish, at least in the spots that I've been fishing. Maybe I'll, I'll try a little farther east. I'd like to take a trip to Montauk. If you guys wanna see a Montauk video, hit that thumbs up because if this reaches over 100, 100 likes within the first four hours, then we'll do a Montauk trip the very next video. I pinky promise. We're either gonna go check out the water or we're just gonna continue to uh, check out what's here. It's good to be back. Let's go. What, is there a school in here? How do I even have him hooked? Oh. Very sandy bluefish. Nice. Mwah, here it is. Man, they're all kicking off very lively. That's awesome. Big gator blue. The 
Bunker SP. There we go. Beauty. Mwah. Worn out. What a fish. That's crazy. What a fish. Bunker SP. Does it when they're when they're feeding on bunker. So it looks like the bite died down a little bit. I don't know if it's just because the boat traffic picked up a lot and it's just splitting the schools and schools being so small already. I don't know, but I guess this would be a good time. That way I'm not you know, spending time while there's blitzing out there to talk about the rod. Uh, it's the same rod you guys have seen in the last couple videos. We're trying to put this thing to the test and see if it's worth it. This is the St. Croix Siege, 10 foot, medium, moderate, fast action. It goes up to um, four ounce, I believe, one to four ounce. And I have a uh, Van Stahl VSX 200 and uh, I got 30 pound braid on there with 40 pound mono leader. So that's been the main setup for the last couple weeks. We've been uh, trying to see how this rod is. We have a nine foot or two that I have. Um, I wanted to bring it out here, but I figured if I were to go to the ocean, I'd want to have a bigger rod so I can cast out farther and get past uh, more breaks because I didn't know what the ocean was like. But ideally, I would probably want the nine foot in here. Erica likes her nine foot. So maybe from now on, we'll just throw the nine foot in the bays, see what happens. But the last couple nights that we've been fishing for bass and blues, they've been way out in the cast. So the 10 footer has been ideal. My dad was using a 9.6 and couldn't get out too far. So that's kind of where we're playing with that. But as far as this, I mean, I could cast the same distance in the back bay with no wind with my seven foot siege, which I have over there. I uh, haven't caught anything on that today, but yeah, as you guys have seen, we've been pulling up some nice fish on this rod. So if you're uh, interested, I'll link it down below. I have, like I said, all the time in every video, all the, the uh, gear that we use is in the description down below if you wanna purchase it, look at different models, different um, different um, power, whatever, nine foot, 10 foot, medium, whatever whatever you're looking for, I'll link it all down below that you got, that way you guys can check it out. And uh, we'll try to catch some more fish. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay in this one spot. I could just walk the bay and figure out what's going on. Some other spots or some good points and some good drop-offs, so I don't know. It's not always it's not always best to stay in one spot. And that goes for life too. back at the truck we gave it a little bit longer and uh, just nothing came in so we're gonna go try some other stuff um, we're gonna go try some new places see what happens see if there's some fish pushed in somewhere else but that might be the end of today's video I'm not sure we'll see but today the magical bait was the bunker SP minnow in six inch floating the SP has been one of those baits that just catches fish for me all the time, just like the water does and the mag darters, but um, they were hitting specifically that bunker color. I don't I don't know why. Normally blues will go after anything, but I guess, like I said in the beginning of the video with the feeding frenzy, if you get one riled up and you just keep throwing anything at them, they're gonna catch. I mean, you're gonna catch those fish. They're gonna go after it. They're gonna attack whatever's there. So I guess when it's more of like a smaller school, they might be more specifically honed towards a specific color, so. Always have a couple colors in your bag. I'm sure one of them's gonna work. Uh, go more along the lines of shades. Like here, we have a, a nice gold color, and then we have the whites, and then we have yellows, and we have blacks and purples, and chromes. So you don't really have to go anything specific, but go more for shades. Looks like Brian's coming back with a couple bluefish too. Hello, Mr. Miller. What's going on? Thank you. 